Hello, my minions. Today will be a surprise show that I just chose to review on a whim. That show is Megas XLR. Now, I'll get reviews on this series out just whenever I feel like it. This is a series I can just be chill and stupid with, just like the show itself. The reason I chose it was because I remember just me and my dad chilling out, watching, and enjoying this series. I also feel like it is my obligation to review this series as a fellow New Jerseyan since it takes place here in my home state. I will talk more about why I love this series after the review, so let's get going. We begin a thousand years in the future with humanity fighting an alien species called the Glorft. We see our first main character, Kiva, fighting them, trying to get to humanity's secret weapon, Magus. And we meet the general of the Glorft, Gorath, who is trying to destroy them and take back the mech. Kiva begins to start sending it a few years into the past, but during the sequence something goes wrong, and it ends up getting sent to a random time period in the past. Gorath, refusing to let it go, bulldozes his way to the time portal, realizing too late that he messed up and gets sucked in along with Kiva. And then we get the title card for the show. We then cut to the present, to Coop showing his best friend Jamie his new car, with Jamie not really being impressed until he shows him the actual mech with the car just being its head. We then get a flashback of how Coop got it from a junkyard owned by his friend Goat. And for the record, the Loch Ness Monster would destroy Bigfoot. Coop ends up finding an old beat up Magus under a junk pile that's been there for a few decades at this point, so he had to fix it up himself, giving it a new look and car head. Jamie imagines what they could do with it and imagines stealing money, forcing people into gladiatorial combat and chasing chicks. While Coop imagines getting burgers, watching wrestling, and chasing after the ice cream truck. Kiva then arrives with her two drones and demands Magus back with Coop just telling her to bring it on. He easily deals with her and her drones and she wonders how he got so good and we see a quick montage of Coop gaming throughout his life with Jamie coming in halfway through. So my man is a fellow gamer. She tries to figure out how to control it but Coop modified it so much she can't figure it out. And I could imagine she has no idea how to drive a car that's from a thousand years in the past. It also turns out Coop destroyed the part that takes them through time. So Kiva is stuck there until she can make another one. But Coop accidentally presses a button that notifies the Glorf to where they are and they show up. Coop realizing Kiva was telling the truth prepares to fight them and fires off a rocket but misses them hitting what I am guessing was the equivalent of a MTV satellite, Pop TV. So, he is starting off strong. He then proceeds to just demolish their whole army with Goat yelling at him that he hasn't given him his two bucks for Magus. Seeing how bad they're getting beaten, they fuse into a gigantic mech that even towers over Magus, and as they are about to get smashed, the satellite coop shot down before crashes into it, and they end up winning because of it. The Glorf end up retreating back to their ship, and Gorath finds out that they can't go back to their time now without Magus, so now they are stuck there, and I'm guessing they will be the main villains of the series. So now that the fighting is done, they go to get burgers, and during the credits, we see them go get them at their equivalent of McDonald's. <laughs> Now, before we get on to the discussion, I want to briefly talk about the opening to the show. I love how it starts with Coop revving up Magus with the music playing and then him bursting out of his forever regenerating garage. We get everyone's character introduction, and again, I love Coop's is just him eating a sandwich. <laughs> then we just get a montage of him beating up many of the villains we are going to see throughout the show and the series, which I will be mentioning when they show up. We also get to see a reference to Gundam as well at the end when Koop is body slamming the shout out characters. And the song itself is honestly really good too. You can search it up on YouTube for the full version. It's called Chicks Dig Giant Robots. But, alright, now let's get into the discussion. 
Let's tackle the cast first, starting with my main man, Coop. He is played by David DeLuise, who I know him from the Disney show Wizards of Waverly Place, where he played the dad in that show. And that's really all I know him for, but the series is when I was first introduced to him, even though I did not know it at the time since I was like seven. He seems like a pretty chill dude, just wanting to eat food, work on his projects, and just be entertained by the stuff he likes to watch. Next is Jamie, who was played by Steve Bloom, who I have my own qualms about, but he has played so many famous characters. Let me just name off a couple of them. Spike from Cowboy Bebop, Orochimaru from Naruto, Vilgax from Ben 10, the Green Goblin from Spectacular Spider-Man, he's also voiced Wolverine in a lot of X-Men content, Starscream from Transformers Prime, and trust me, a lot more looking at his wiki page. Jamie seems to have known Coop since they were in middle school, I'm guessing, and is the whiny friend that is insecure and blames everyone else for his screw-ups. But you keep him around because you have known him for so long and he hasn't done anything that bad to you. Next is Kiva, played by Wendy Lee, who has played Bulma from Dragon Ball, Faye from Cowboy Bebop, and Lisa Lisa from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Kiva seems to have the best motivation out of the three, wanting to get back to her time to save humanity from the Glorfed, but thanks to Coop, that doesn't seem to be happening anytime soon. And a detail I did not realize as a kid is that she is a cyborg, having some kind of electrical port on the back of her head and a hologram type of thing built into her hand. The Goat is next, played by Scott Brutus Reinecker, who apparently only voiced Goat and other minor roles in this show. Sadly, he passed last year in a fire accident. I really liked his acting in this show as a kid, because like Coop, he was a pretty chill and I always wondered why I never heard his voice in anything else. Okay, next is Gorath, who was played by Mick Foley in the pilot, and the only other role I know him from is the boulder from Avatar. But when the series actually got produced, he is played by Clancy Brown, who has played Lex Luthor in the Superman animated series, Mr. Krabs from Spongebob, Captain Black from Jackie Chan Adventures, Long Fang from Avatar, and Chris Bradford from the 2012 Team NT. Gorath just seems to be the classic main villain that will appear every now and then to fight the heroes to get Megas back so they can go back to their time. And it seems he lets his anger get the better of him since he blindly chased after Kiva and Megas and only realized he screwed up when it was too late. Then the last character is the Glorf Commander who is played by Kevin Michael Richardson who has voiced Skulker from Danny Phantom, Joker from The Batman, Tombstone from The Spectacular Spider-Man, Bulkhead from Transformers Prime, Panthro from Thundercats, and the Mauler Twins from Invincible. The Commander just seems to be someone around Gorath to talk to and bounce off of, and is really just a side character, not even getting a proper name. Alright, now that we have all the main voice actors out of the way, let's get on to the episode and the series itself. The series was created by Jody Scheifer and George Christick. Jody has been in the business since the 1990s, but the only thing I have seen where he is a large part of it is Metalocalypse, where he was an animator for a lot of the episodes. George has also been here since the 1990s, and the major things he has worked on is Motor City as a writer, and what I am guessing most of you will know him for being a major writer and director for most of the Overwatch cinematics, which I have to say are pretty good all in all. Then the only major thing they have both worked on together is this series as its creators. The series premise wise I think is really good for an episodic series and you really can do whatever you want in an episode since it's already dealing with time travel and other heavy sci-fi concepts. And most people can tell it is heavily anime inspired with I'm guessing Gundam being the main inspiration which I honestly have never watched so don't get mad at me if I miss some of the references here and there. 
At the time of writing this, I have watched through most of the series, and I love all of the references they have done, and could tell they were just having fun with it. I have also been listening to the OST for the series, which I have been using throughout this video, and it is really nice. I would honestly recommend you check it out since it's all on YouTube. And same with this series itself, all being on YouTube in 4K, and it is beautiful. This episode itself sets things up nicely, with humanity being on the brink of extinction, and Kiva most likely thought she was going to be the savior of humanity, but now has to take a back seat to Coop, who seems to be a decent guy, but definitely not the ideal hero most people would envision. So she has to now teach him take care of Magus along with Coop, and ultimately deal with Jamie's antics. Coop himself is no slouch with how he remastered Magus because he is honestly superhuman with how he fixed it up with some help from Goat. And it is cool how you can tell what parts were originally part of Magus and which were modified by Coop with how ridiculous they are. And of course, Magus is just a plot device for the episode, since they can just give whatever they want to it in each episode. I am looking forward to reviewing the series, and I hope you guys are excited to go on this journey with me. The roadmap for the series right now will be me reviewing all of the episodes, and then doing a single video about all of the villains in the series, and then doing a video reviewing the characters. Those being Coop, Kiva, Jamie, and Goat. So if you want to hop on this ride, make sure to subscribe and like the video. I look forward to talking with all of you in the comments, and I hope to see you on the next review. So I guess I will see you guys later. Bye guys, and rock on!